So today I'm interviewing Brian, and Brian and I have known each other, I don't know, Brian, how long has it been? Seven years? It's been that long, huh? Probably, yeah, six, seven years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yep. was he was completely blessed to have um, known me then. <laughs> but we've known each other <laughs> for seven years. And I sent... <laughs> Uh, Brian and his wife, Jen, some socks, and they were so excited. They live in Frankfurt, Michigan, which is so gorgeous. I mean, I know you guys get a lot of snow, but it really is beautiful up there. It's one of my favorite places, um, that area. And I have an uncle that lives in Beulah. I don't know if I've ever told you that. No, you haven't. That's not far. Yes, yes. And uh, typically he would like do the Special Olympics every year in Beulah. They have like a parade and stuff like that. So he would like be on that committee to do that. So uh, because my cousin has Down syndrome. So, I mean, he's pretty involved in the community up there in Beulah. So it's really neat. But anyways. Yeah. So we said Brian the Wool Socks. I believe I sent you guys. Um, the label said Terry sock, but it's actually our lumberjack. Now we kind of like went through some rebranding there. So the lumberjack was the really thick one. And then the crew sock was the, um, thinner one, the more stylish one. I, I think, (laughs) and that's the one that I usually wear with like my boots. That's my everyday sock. So tell me how you liked those socks and Jen, because I know Jen's she's working today. Yeah, well, she's she's taking care of our three year old right now since oh. uh, we both had today off, and Aww. yeah, so she, she's keeping an eye on our three year old. Okay, um, good. No, the uh, yeah the the lumberjack socks. Um, I see. I've never had wool socks before, so I the and the first thing I thought of was that they were going to be itchy, you know, because I'm sure that you guys probably get that. Oh, all so, the time. Um. I tried them on and I, yeah, I, I tried them on. And I think for like three days when I would come home from work, I never took them off. (laughs) Like I would come home from work and I'd put them on just to have them on. And, uh, I've done some hiking in them and I can't Mm -hmm. believe like how warm they are. They're not itchy. They're super, super comfortable. Like I couldn't believe how comfortable they were. Yeah. And, um, the, 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 crew socks are great i mean they're not itchy they're super comfortable um i wear those when i get home from work like one of my main things is to get different socks on because i hate wearing dress socks yeah and so i've been putting those on just even to lounge around the house and they're they're way better than what i ever thought they were going to be they're so comfortable and warm and yeah they're great i love them I love it. I love it. And so what did Jen think? Jen absolutely is in love with them. <laughs> she wears them like all the time. Like, especially those, the lumberjack ones. She wear those, she wears those constantly. I don't, I don't think in the, the couple of weeks that we've had them, I don't think she's taken them off yet. Oh my goodness. That's great. Really, she, That's- she loves them. Yeah. Do you think that you wish that you would have had them when you went to college? Cause didn't, did you go to college at Northern? Uh, I went to Lake Superior state. That's where you went. Yes. I and can't remember. there were, yeah, there were a lot of, a lot of days. I wish I would have had socks like that. That's for sure. Because yeah. you walk everywhere. So, um, and winter usually doesn't end until you've gone home for the year. So it's, uh, <laughs> In June. Yeah, I wish I would have had them then too. Yeah, June. Right. In June in the upper May, peninsula. June, it's yeah. like we still have snow. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It probably yeah, does no, they're, feel they're, that way. they're perfect. Yeah, they're they're perfect for this environment up here because it's just unpredictable. It's it can be bitterly cold one minute and it could be in the forties the next. So um, you know, they're great for just about any type of, of cold temperature. So, um, but we walked for a couple of miles yesterday and they were great. So I, I can't say enough good things about them. 
I saw you guys had posted, I think Jen posted really cute pics of you guys walking your dog together. And I was like, I really just want to be there. I mean, not that I wanted to be there with the both of you. I didn't care about that. I mean, I like you guys and everything, but I was more thinking like I just wanted to be, <laughs> be there in that place, you know, because it's like really, it's right. just gorgeous. Yeah. I'm trying to get John to move up there. Yeah, it is. I told him, I'm like, we either need to be moving well, somewhere tropical or up there. Those two choices. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know i can hook you up with a realtor or two yeah well we'd have to move the mill too because we absolutely love what we do so we wouldn't want to you know retire from this anytime True. soon yeah so that would be a big task i'd need quite a bit of land true i'm thinking like 10 acres there's a farm well, it's for mostly sale retirees up here anyway so you've got you got time yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's, um, I know there's a farm for sale by Cedar and I keep eyeing it up, but it's like a million bucks. I mean, I don't have a million bucks. I mean, maybe if my YouTube takes off, yeah. I, <laughs> I, can, yeah. Get some, I can get some sponsors here. That's, that's here. an average price around here. So yeah, I know we've yeah. looked at the market often. <laughs> Yes. So I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally glad you love them. And I'll tell you that, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the, uh, sock will pull away the moisture from your foot. So your foot isn't wet in this. It, it stays like in the sock. So when you take it off, um, the sock could be wet, which sounds really gross. And I hate to talk about that with people, but it's a property <laughs> of wool. <laughs> it's a property of wool. And then the other <laughs> thing is, I know, who wants to talk about that? It's kind of like, ugh. But then the other property is um, <laughs> moisture wicking, fire retardant. So if you tried to set it on fire, it would most likely smolder. So I'm just letting you know, you know, if you hated them so much, you had to start them on fire, they probably oh, would okay, not good. go up in flames. So... Just let you know. <laughs> Keep the lighters away well, from your good. kids. I know what kind of thugs you're raising there. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. They're a, they're a hostile crowd up here. So yes, yes. <laughs> so um, fire retardant, moisture wicking, but they're odor resistant too. So um, well, that's like, good. I can I can wear them all the time. You could, you could, and you wouldn't have stinky feet. Yeah. <laughs> i mean i'm not saying That's that you nice. do <laughs> right so um i have like <laughs> buffalo inserts like buffalo wool inserts in my boots and then i wear the wool socks so like i my, i take my feet out of my socks and my boots and it's like a flower garden i mean i don't have to worry about any of that <laughs> just saying nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i'm i'm glad you love them i'm glad they're comfortable and i'm glad john loved them too because you know you're going out on a limb by sending people your socks i mean i think they're great but you never know so the next part that i wanted <laughs> to talk about yeah i know i know going out on a limb so the next part that we'll talk about <laughs> is um, how we know each other. So you like the sex. Oh, I forgot what you did for a living. You said first you said that you went hiking, though, right? So you did some exercise in the sex. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK, yep, definitely. That's, you know, yeah, that's that's one of the things that were that was great about them is that they, they do keep your feet dry, but they're so warm. And they're just so comfortable. I just wore like a pair of regular hiking boots and, um, you know, I, they're not really insulated. So, um, the socks worked perfect. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. So, um, you know, sometimes I ask people if they've worn them to work, did you get it? Did you wear them to work or? Well, I, I'm a banker. Um, I haven't worn them to work because we have a strict dress code. So, um, 
it would have to be like straight black socks in order for me to wear them. Really? But, you know, not that somebody's, you know, standing there at the door. Yeah. Yeah. Not that somebody's standing there at the door, you know, having me lift up my, my pants <laughs> to make sure that I have <laughs> black socks on, but you got to go yeah, home for the day you, on that stuff. So, you, um, <laughs> dress code done. So I, Yeah, right. I, I wouldn't be upset by that. So, um, I, uh, no, I come home and, and one of the first things I do is I, I put like, I've been putting like the crew socks on when I get home. So if I've got to run to the store or something like that, you know, I've been wearing them out to do different things. So, um, but the crew socks are great as well. I mean, they're, they're just as comfortable. They're just as soft. So, yeah, cool. I, I didn't realize that wool socks were as soft as what they is what they are. So I was pretty happy about that. So I just want to remind you that um, there would not be a sock dress code if you were still teaching. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't. I'm not too worried. I'm, I don't need to teach. That's okay. <laughs> I don't need to do that anymore. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you touched a lot of children's lives by your education. So I'm just saying. Yeah, I'd like to think that I did. I hope I did. But yeah, I'm, I always I'm love not to hear those to stories. Field, so sorry. Yeah. I always <laughs> love to hear those stories. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's, uh, yeah, there's, it was not boring every day. There was a different story. You know, I taught both high school and sixth grade and there's not really a whole lot of difference. Um, you know, maturity wise between the two. So it was, uh, it's a lot of good stuff going around. Hey, I have two high schoolers. I definitely know. <laughs> what kind of shenanigans <laughs> go on so yes yeah. yes i feel you i feel what you're saying so you're in banking which is great because <laughs> you know i worked at the credit union for so long so i understand we they didn't try to tell us what kind yeah. of socks to wear though maybe it's because it was a credit union we could have shown up in later hosen and they were i don't know weird. maybe yeah. Yeah. We're a little, we're a little more stuck up than what credit unions are. <laughs> I see that. I see that. That, that was a shocker to me. I'm going to have to like ask the local people here because you know, where you work, we, we actually um, have our business stuff at. So I'm going to have to go up there and ask them. I'm going to have to inspect for black socks. Yeah. You can name drop me if you want. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're a big wig. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you did, however, though, I uh, remember this. You had a robbery. And it was in the paper, right? Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah, it was in all the, the papers and on TV and... I became a celebrity overnight. So <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the one who robbed the place. That's not what I mean. <laughs> no. no, but you were like so, the guy that, no. <laughs> was, I mean, did you tell him like, get out of here? <laughs> no, he, uh, he swore at me and uh, said some very not nice things to me. Um, and pointed a gun at my face and, um, that was, I mean, you know, it's just your garden variety armed robbery. So was it like you were at home then? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm Pretty kidding. Much. I, <laughs> sometimes it feels that way with little kids. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to, yeah, uh, <laughs> Can. all right i'm not trying to make fun of a really bad situation but i know what kind of humor you have so i know that you can appreciate that joke so <laughs> yes <laughs> 
We had we had a situation yeah, like that so. as as well when I worked at the credit union. Unfor fortunately for me, I had the day off. Unfortunately for the person that was working there that day, they had, and I don't think the guy really had a gun. I almost think he had a candy bar in his pocket. <laughs> this guy, uh, this guy had a gun, and it was pretty loaded. So, but yeah. he. Uh, Nothing ever happened to him. He was never convicted, so he's out working in Traverse City. So, is he yeah, late? It's a lot of Keystone, a lot of Keystone cops up here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so all right, that's strange. He's just roaming about, just like hey. I'll just say that. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of scary. Maybe I don't want to move up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's leonard county you can't trust those people up there <laughs> yeah oh boy well you know <laughs> what <laughs> one of our favorite yarn shops is there in cedar and um we love liz and melissa at wool and honey and we actually so john's sister has a cabin in cedar and then we go up to lake leelana every summer we spend a week there and um then we mm -hmm. get to go to the yarn shop and like my, i think my daughter and i need to be forbidden from that place because we always spend so much money in there yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's bad so um that's one of our favorite spots and they're like they are very popular on instagram and throughout the united states so it's kind of cool you know you have that little spot and i didn't know if you knew that I did not know that my, uh, my, one of my coworkers actually lives in Cedar and I'm surprised that he hasn't said anything. He's, you know, his wife is kind of, you know, I think she's into like the wool apparel and, and things like that. And she's actually moved up here from Florida and so she's still trying to adjust to the cold. So I think something like that would probably be beneficial for her to check out. So I'll have yeah. to mention that to him next time I see him. Yeah. And maybe he doesn't say that to you because he doesn't maybe like you to talk to you. Um, but he might not. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding. You're a totally <laughs> likable guy. I'm just messing with you. Okay. So um, I would be surprised if she does not know about Will and Honey because it is really popular. So yeah. um, we also like to eat ice cream at the Blue Moon. Like every, oh, yeah. every night that we're there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not me, but everybody else. No, you know? no. Yeah, yeah, everybody else does. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the last thing that I'll get into, because you loved the socks and they're so comfortable. And I love that Jen loves them too. And you guys did your hiking and I'm sad that you couldn't wear them at the bank. I mean, I can, I don't make straight black ones, but maybe it's something I can look into for all the uh, staff at that bank there. Um, <laughs> 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 that is so crazy. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> which I mean, that could go into a whole other conversation about all the really fun socks that are out there. I mean, you can't even wear ones that have pizza on them or anything, right? Like that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. I can't, they did send us as kind of like a, a wacky gift. They sent us a pair of socks with our company logo on them and, uh, Jen threw them away, like right when I got them. So <laughs> Yeah, they weren't dress like socks anyway. But gift? She so. thought it was kind of ridiculous, so she's like, "Yeah, she's like, uh, she's like, these, these are stupid. I'm just going to throw these away." So she threw them away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It reminds me that um, my second oldest, his friend, uh, had his face put on socks as a gag gift to my son. So my son has <laughs> socks with his friend's face on. <laughs> so he does actually wear Perfect. them though so they, <laughs> yeah yeah so you can do that maybe for jen next year for christmas <laughs> put your face on some socks <laughs> i i think 
hey, it's her birthday today. I should, that's what I should have gotten for her birthday. That's right. It is. I totally forgot about that. I saw it on Facebook. So, you know, I wouldn't normally know it's yeah. her birthday because, I mean, why would I? Facebook reminds me. <laughs> Did you have to have Facebook remind you of your wife's birthday? I had my wife remind me of my wife's birthday. <laughs> yeah, we like to do that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, for about a month now. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't go that far, but um, I, I'm glad for Jen. So then, um, yeah, I, sorry, we're being real goofy here. So we'll go move on to how we know each other. So obviously we had said yeah. in the beginning of the video that we've known each other since, I think it's been like since 2015, maybe it's only been five or six years, but still that's a long time. Yeah. I think 14 or 15. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun with our friends. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was a good time. Yeah. It was a good time. So. Yeah. So, and the person that um, I was hanging out with Greg, which by the way, Greg agreed to do the video. <laughs> oh, really? All right. Yes. Yes. I'm so proud of him. I know. So he has his socks and we'll be interviewing <laughs> Greg too, but um, he had to think about it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's a public yeah. figure. I know he's a politician, so uh, you know he's got to think about his <laughs> followers and stuff. <laughs> his career, what might come about? Yeah, <laughs> right. So um, we met through Greg, and I think well, Greg wasn't single; he was dating Nicole, but the rest of us were. Well, Shirley and Al were married, but yeah. So we all kind of just hung out and that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. We spent some time at, uh, you know, Al and Shirley's place. We did. Bonfires there and. We did. Yeah. Good yeah. time. I know. That was when the uh, bars were open and we did spend quite a few. We went bowling. Weren't you bowling? Yeah. Yeah, I was on that bowling league. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I remember that now. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. And maybe I was inspiring you to work at a bank since I worked at a credit union. I don't know. Is that where your inspiration came from? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep, yep, you and Greg. <laughs> right. <laughs> we were totally talking about how awesome it was. And then... Yep, exactly. I'm so glad that I had that much of an inspiration in your life to get you to. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, I want to thank you so much for wearing the socks and Jen for wearing the socks. And I'm glad you had a really good review. Cause I did text you and tell you that if you didn't like him, the interview might not happen. <laughs> i mean no i thank you for sending them to me i mean they're great i love them i'm glad you love them and i saw more online just throwing that out there okay and okay. most and most times i have a code for family and friends it's like the fun people discount oh yeah all right only fun people get them <laughs> only fun people get them sweet Yes. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise it's like regular price. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Yes. Not the fun people. <laughs> right. Well, this is, so I'm, I hope that you had fun talking about this because the series is very fun and lighthearted and that's the whole point of it. But it also, the point of it is being that we're educating people on wool because not all wool is itchy and it's not what you think. It's not grandpa's wool. So, or grandma's knitting wool yeah. that I don't want to wear because it's itchy. Yeah. So I thank you so much for joining me. And hi, 
Aw, she's so sweet. Can you say hi? She's like, who's that? <laughs> Guess what? What? <laughs> Guess what? Your daddy loves wool? I know. Guess what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my bunny. I love that bunny. I think that bunny needs yeah, some wool That's your bunny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. Thanks so much. <laughs> Can you wave hi to me? Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. Bye. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs>